Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tata Fox and this is the Fox Nation. And if you don't know where you at, you better ask somebody, baby, because we are on the Tata Fox Express train, honey. Let's not slow it down for nothing. We're going somewhere and we're going somewhere happy. Re happy mo. So if you want to be part of the family, please make sure to subscribe, guys. Make sure to engage, comment, like, do all the things that make the parts happen. I actually didn't think that I had stories to share with you guys until I told my sister a story that happened to me years ago, which I would have never told her when it was happening. Um, and as I was telling her, she was laughing and I thought, I might share this with my YouTubers. So guys... Can you see Gabba Langerini? Yeah, he's sexy. Right guys, are you ready? Grab a drink, take a seat. For those who are watching me on a Sunday morning, where's your kofifi? Where is your tea? Say a little prayer for me when you get to church. Say a prayer for Tata Fox when you get to church. Wish her all the blessings in the world, and I wish all my subscribers all the blessings in the world. But right now, we're talking about this Jesus juice. Grab a drink. Take a seat and listen to my story time. As you can tell, I'm going to be using my angle, I, my angled brush, and I'm going to be making fine strokes into my eyebrows to create a feathered look. I'm not going to make a definite line because that's how you it turns into a um, slay. Hey, slay queens are going to say I like them. That's how it turns into an Instagram eyebrow, and I don't want an Instagram eyebrow today. So the disclaimer is I was young. I was really young when this happened. So this is a safe zone. For if this is my safe zone. When I tell you guys stuff, I'm telling you because we're all family. We're all on the Fox Nation train. We're all going somewhere. And sometimes we're on a train, you get a little bored and we all share, we all share stories. So I was, maybe I was about 17, 18. Oh, by the way, excuse my thyroid. My thyroid is acting up again. And, um... A bit swollen so my neck looks a little bit bigger than usual but that's for another day anyway okay I was about 17 18 and I and I had a really close friend I had a friend and me and her were like best of boomba buddies you know not my current best friend um, but me and this friend were really close um, so I was friends with this girl and we were seeing we were dating some guys that we both knew, right? And um, we got to a stage where, you know, we'd go on date nights together. We would like chill out together. We were like a couple couple. We were, yeah. And you know when you're young and you're 18, you mean you just got your driver's license or you just started drinking and life is good and we're pretending to be adults because you go to the club, you drive yourself home, you got a man, your man's got a place. like. Things were good, like things were good. So me and my friend, life is good. Like I said, we've got we've got these boyfriends who are like they're not amazing, but because you're so young, you don't know what amazing is. You just kind of think like that's how relationships are supposed to work. You're meant to run after your man. You're meant to, you know, be okay with not talking to, to somebody for weeks on end. That's how your life is supposed to work, and that's how relationships work. When in actual fact, that's not how relationships work. You know, you, you in relationships, it's weird when your man doesn't want to know what you're doing for the day. It's weird it, for me. For me, it's weird when your partner doesn't check in, check in on you. It's weird. Back then, I mean, these guys would go would disappear for like three weeks, and there'd be crook, silence. And at that time, we were so young and impressionable and like in love, like. Hey. No. 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 So, the first person to get dumped, I got dumped, guys. Like, it came out of nowhere. I went to a club, I found out that this guy was seeing another girl, and when I asked the guy to choose between me and her, he chose her. <laughs> <laughs> I was shattered. I was. I was torn up from the floor. I was torn up from the floor. I was crying. I left the club crying. 
I was a mess, I couldn't drive, my friend had to drive me home. I was one of those days of my life generations, like just started crying, putting my hands up on my head. Yeah, kind of cry. That was me. I was a mess. Okay. Then the relationship is over. I, then my friend's man breaks up with her. <laughs> like a week later. And now we're both like, like distraught, you know? Go, we are a mess, guys. Like we are a mess. We can't eat, we can't sleep. And then like the one day my friend comes to my house and she's like, dude, I've got, I've got the key to unlocking our depression. I know what to do to make us happy. I know what to do to make us happy. Do you want the answer? And I was like, sorry, I'm trying to fix my screen. Just hear me out. Hear me out. Okay. I was walking in Ramburg and that's when I should have known that the story was gonna be a problem. I've been walking in Ramburg, but bright ideas don't just start walking by the Ramburg taxi rank. They don't just happen. But she says she says she's walking by Ramburg and she saw a flyer. <laughs> and the flyer said uh mr it was i can't remember the name guys it's several years ago it was like mr samuel bring your love back get an ex-lover to come back and love you um get your you know get your job back get a job like it had all these things it like promised all these things that it could do like this guy could do i grew up very christian in my mom's house so even that kind of stuff like i was young so she's like listen dude this is what we're gonna do we're gonna go to this guy and we're gonna pay and we're gonna consult with him you know and he was calling himself doctor something doctor what what and i was like shit as a doctor i mean how bad can i be it's just a doctor i'm gonna go to the doctor i'm gonna tell the doctor my disease my disease is i'm single and he's gonna tell me, take an aspirin, <laughs> you'll feel better. So I was like, after like some convincing, I won't lie, I did, like I didn't fall, I didn't agree the first time because I, because my gut in my Abdullah Ablangara was like, I know your Abdullah Ablangara is not there, guys. Before you come for me, it's a joke. Um, was like, this ain't right, you know. But I was so broken. I, I, I wanted my man back, you know. I wanted the high life. I mean, we back in that day. I don't know if, if I don't know if you guys will all remember, but there used to be a club called Capital Underground, and we were 18, and you had to be 21 to get in. But our boys were getting us in, only 18, into this 21 club. Like we were the it. We were, you know, we were the shit. Really, we were the cacas of the day. So when they broke up with us, we thought. There goes all our happiness. There goes the club entrances. There goes, you know, being seen with all the right people. We're now gonna be single and boring. And nobody's gonna like love us anymore. And what is gonna happen to all our double dating? Shit. So, you know, I, eventually I was like, you know what, dude, you're right. Let's just go. Let's just go to this place. Let's just hear what the doctor has to say. I mean, what else can he do? He's just a doctor. I mean, Dr. Happiness is definitely, definitely just, I mean, why would we be scared to get Dr. Happiness? Okay. So my friend, she sets up an appointment. And, and by the way, when she showed it to me, she showed me with a, it was on a flyer. <laughs> it was on a flyer. So she said, so... She set, up an, she set up an appointment and we go. I had the car. I was on the car at that time. So I was driving. So then we go to this uh, doctor's place. Then when we get to this doctor's place, it's a huge. We drive into Ramburg and then you know where the strip club is? It, it, there used to be a strip club. Malasha. Is it Malasha? Like a couple. A, a couple entrances down around the corner it's like a big building so my friend's like hey 
hey dude i sent this guy sms to make an appointment but it's in there and i was like um no oh i don't know about that maybe this is like one of those doctors that you get in town you know maybe this is maybe this is like one of those doctors that you know are off the off the books they don't want to be you know famous they just want to do their jobs it's just a really good doctor you know simple life he just wants a simple life so we go in we start walking up the stairs hey we're walking up the stairs it's, it's, it's busy it's busy it's busy there's people sitting up the steps sitting on the floor like some doors are broken they're like sitting like perched up on the side like it's dodge okay it's dodge the place is dodge but because love always wins i was i'm gonna find my i'm gonna keep my man back she was like we, we come here to get our man going up the stairs so when they get there it actually looks quite clean they've got a nice orange carpet on the floor there's like a desk with a lady sitting behind the desk and um you know they know okay it's you it's tato and whoever i'm not gonna say her name um we've been waiting okay the doctor's not here yet but we'll let you know when he comes in and um he's on the way don't worry he's not gonna take long okay that's not a problem so i put the base from the um morphe i'm now going to grab my mac cheeky bronze and i'm gonna go into the arch of my eyebrow the side and that side so we take a seat you know and there's a person who's before us then the person then the doctor apparently comes we don't see how the doctor the doctor just so we walk in right and there's a like i said there's an orange orange carpet there's a um a lady behind the desk then there's another door and there's another room to our right hand side and um then this lady like how she doesn't get a phone call she doesn't the doctor doesn't come in through the main door next thing the doctor's here oh we look at each other okay doctor's here then she like says to the first person who's in the line before us okay you 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 need to go in first so this person is like okay this person goes in nothing seems dodgy at that point i'm using my Rimmel London uh, mascara. Nothing seems dodgy, to be honest. Like, yes, where it was, where getting to this place wasn't like the best of areas, but when you were inside, it all felt normal. Except that we didn't see the doctor come in. So the first guy goes in, then the guy comes out. The lady makes another appointment. I'm thinking, wow, like they are so professional. They even have follow-up appointments. Man, I'm definitely coming back to this place. Like, yo, who who do you do? They say, okay, guys, you guys can you guys can go in into that door, the door, the door that we don't know where the doctor came in. We don't know nothing. We must just go in. Okay. I don't know. I I, I don't know what I was thinking to answer. So I'm actually gonna re reuse a set of lashes that I used before. So then this lady has a burner phone, right? And I didn't know it was called a burner phone until I watched enough TV. So she had that little Nokia, the one that just got a green screen. I don't know why I'm so skewed. Jesus. It's got a little green screen. It only does black and white. That That is a burner phone, right? So this lady, I'm putting glue. I'm putting the duo white clear lash strip. So this lady's like, you know, um... She goes on the burner phone, she's like to a doctor, I'm assuming she was calling the doctor, and she's like, doctor, um, your next patients are here, then he says they can go in. Okay, so we go in. When we get in there, that's when the bomb dropped. That's when the bomb dropped. <laughs> when you go in there, we... I <laughs> can I'm laughing at how stupid I was. Okay. Hakikena. Kikopana le a whole when I walk in, I walk in and there's a long like you walk you walk in and in front of you there's like a long table and on the table there's herbs and monkey skulls and furs ah, and monkey tails ah, and lion's teeth ah, and I was Oh no. No, 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 no. 
thought it was going to oh, be a no. doctor with a piece no, of paper. No, 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 no. <laughs> Writing a script. And I was, I looked at my friend, she looked at me, and I was... My mom's gonna kill me. I've walked into a witch doctor's house. Kikonga King. I'm at a Sangoma. Tato! That's what my mind was saying. My mind was saying, Eject, Eject, get out of here, girl. Leave, Khafar, like danger. Ungange, Ningozi. But my pride was like, Okay, we're here to find love. Let's hear what this doctor has to say, Doctor. So we walk in, we take a seat. Now I'm shitting myself. I'm scared because now I'm thinking, what do we do? What What is this guy gonna do? I've never been. To, my, my parents never took me to like Naga, so like a witch doctor. I, I'd never experienced any of that. So how I put the lashes, I actually just balance it on my natural lashes first. See? Simple. Then I go in and I start to... Push it towards my lash line. So, when this guy asks us, okay. <laughs> okay. Why are you here? Hey! We are here because on the pamphlet it says we want love back. My boyfriend left me. And I felt so stupid even letting the words come out of my mouth that I'm here because my boyfriend dumped me. And though English is coming out our noses. It's like I didn't go. We are. Then this guy's like, right, I need to consult. I was like, okay, I'll wait for your phone call. I'm waiting for him to pick up his phone and consult his doctor, his friend. Consult. Because that's what they mean, that's what they say when they say consulting. I'm like, he's gonna consult a friend. Call a friend. Then this guy shuts off the lights. <laughs> I see my mother. I see she lights. Then he starts doing his things. <laughs> Growling like a like an animal guys. I've never been so scared In my life guys in in my actual existence of human being. I've never been that. I've never been that scared so the guys like making all these funny sounds and like Bother I think and coughing and I'm I'm now starting to pray and I'm starting to be like help me Jesus Why did I come here? What am I doing? This is not it that's off, he's making all the sound, things are rattling in the room, it's dark. Hey, we're very stupid for going into that room because we could have been raped, we could have gone into a room with like 10 niggas and not seen them because it was a large table, right? And the table had a tablecloth over it. And in the back, we couldn't see what was in the back because there were boxes. And remember, the doctor wasn't there, all of a sudden he just arrived. So there could have been a back entrance or people, people hiding in, in the first place. Next thing, guys, we hear another voice, a second voice in the room. What? Oh hell no! We are. Do you know Jesus? This voice starts talking to us, guys. The, the second voice is like, "Hello, my daughter." And people are like, "Hi, <laughs> my daughter. This is me. I'm your ancestor. Why, yeah, my daughter. I see you. I said, my daughter, guys." I was shitting my pants. Eh, so my ancestor, <laughs> first of all, comes to me speaking English. I should have known this was a scam. It's talking English to me. It's not talking speedy. And my ancestor's got a weird accent. That's not a South T accent. It's not a South African accent. It's just another accent. And I was like, but when you're in the moment, you don't think about this, it's only after the fact, only now, like now that I'm older, or when I'd be a couple years later, did I think, Maria Zudom. Then the Madozi goes away. Okay, that was my turn, right? Then the Madozi comes, then another Madozi comes for my friend's turn. Then, then the Madozi disappears. We are, we are left there in that room now with just the doctor. And the guy's like, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys these herbs. 
and you're gonna but you're gonna burn these herbs and <laughs> you're gonna call out your boyfriend's name when you're burning these herbs so then a week later car uh, two weeks is two weeks eventually goes by and it's time to go back to the doctor and the doctor is like okay guys i'm like you know i'm glad you came back how are things going and he's and then i, I we explained then he's like okay i want to see you guys one by one in the room then i go in first he doesn't call the other voice the voice doesn't come he doesn't call it he just throw his he throws the shawls or whatever and the bones on the floor and he's like okay no the problem is that your man is is quite resistant and um you know you're gonna have to do more than what you're doing i'm gonna make a i'm gonna make a potion for you to drink that's when i was fuck this shit i'm out fuck this shit what? i'm out you're gonna make a what don't mind me you're gonna make a potion you want me to drink something the christian in me was like so the guy was like Ish, okay you know what i'm just gonna make you a concoction and what, what what another thing that usually helps is if, if you give us 2500 and slaughter a goat a cow we'll buy a cow in our bill in our village and you don't don't worry, don't worry you don't have to do it in this town i'll get someone to slaughter a goat on your behalf you just give me 2500 when somebody asks me for money that's when i start to think but i doubted him when he said to me i want your money for a cow a goat a cow i was like no, not today. So I said to the guy, okay, just to like blow him off. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna come with the money. I don't let's say today's you. like, we went there on like Friday. I was like, I'll come on you Tuesday with the money. Ass, bitch, so when we left you. there, that's when I turned to my friend and said, listen, dude, this is dodgy. Like, this ain't the one. Maybe we should rethink this. Maybe we actually are going crazy. Maybe something is not right with us. Maybe this is just not the situation for us. Maybe we should just think about this. Guys. Little did I know that my friend went back. <laughs> I didn't go back. I went to God. I went to church and I repented and I asked God why was I so crazy. And thank you for saving my life because that was a very dangerous situation that I walked into. My friend went back to go get more of the potion. I don't think she ever paid the guy uh, for a cow. But I know she went back, but she never told me the end of that story. But it never turned, it never worked out because that guy is somebody else with another person. My friend has moved on. You know, we're all living our best lives. Despite the fact that we went to a Sangoma for a love back. So, I mean, I'm definitely obviously not in that relationship. And I, I went into the, I went into... I mean, I think maybe that's why I had so much bad luck in relationships after that until I met my amazing husband. Um, it's probably because I had all the bad luck of going to that, going to that witch doctor person. Um, but I, I was so naive and so in love with that guy and I couldn't see past the fact that this relationship probably is not the one for me and if somebody loves me, he wouldn't treat me like that. I mean, I think the moral of my story is I did all of that for somebody who wasn't meant to be with me so when you think that your relationship and love oof, look at that highlight when you think that the relationship is over and you think that your life is over because of some fuck boy you're wrong your life is not over your life is actually just beginning because you got rid of the dead and um, I was a crazy bitch okay I was a kind of ex that goes crazy and I actually had to teach myself to let go and let God I had to teach myself that um, to only save your crazy for your husband. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's true though. Don't be an idiot. Don't think that going to somebody you don't know, people you don't know, done no research that you're going to find someone that's going to bring love back. That's never going to happen. And there's nothing wrong with going to San Gomez, but I think you need to do your homework. For me, I wouldn't go to one because I'm... I'm not, let me say I'm not Christian, but I just wasn't raised to go to Sangoma, so I just don't go to them. But for some people, they, they were raised on, this, on, on, on that. And you can go to one, but I think you need to know who you're going to and what those people's intentions are before you just put yourself and your love life and your, your life at, the, at risk. Guys, it's been a blast recording this video. I hope you guys had fun. So, I'll see you guys next week. That's me, Tata Fox, signing out. The Express is gone.